Hey guys, so welcome back to the Let's Play. This Let's Play is going to be a little different from the others in that I am going to be gathering in this Let's Play. So gathering is not something I've really done much before. And yeah, it uh, should be interesting to do a gathering Let's Play. I mean, it won't be that interesting, but I'm actually leveling gathering this time. I'm not, uh, I'm not just going to be purely collecting, I am actually leveling my gathering. So, the best place to gather in Black Desert, uh, near Heidel, are two things. You can gather wood, <coughs> just south of Heidel. I like to gather my wood in this sort of range along here, up to Glish. Or you can go where I'm going, which is Sheep Mountain, which is just a little northwest of Heidel. And it's where you can murder sheep. So, murdering sheep lets you get meat. Meat lets you make good feed and other useful items and it is one of the nicest places to gather plus if I'm being honest Sheep Mountain has some of the nice, nicest visuals in the game like look at this All right, good point you can also see that my uh, thanks to new graphics oh caution actually coming in useful once you can also see that thanks to my new graphics card and <laughs> now just still damage though um, my graphics are much higher, but the computer is not straining itself, which is really nice. So I've got a few things here. Uh, my gathering is currently plus three, so I'll use a Balanus meal to get the plus five. Then I've got a bunch of improved butcher's knives, which hopefully will allow me to gather. Yep, I'm gathering at a fairly decent pace. Despite the fact that I am literally only gathering beginner three, I'm able to uh, gather just fine. And I'll also take out some pets here. So I'll take out uh, one of my penguins that I'm trying to level. And yeah, so gathering is one of the more important life skills in the game, but it's not a life skill that really needs to be done all the time. Uh, and by that I mean it's not a main life skill. It's not the life skill you're going to be doing AFK because you can't AFK gather. If you want to gather, you have to go out and use your energy on your own. Um, it's something that you do to supplement other life skills. So, right, gathering, there's a few different life skills you can supplement with it. Mostly the life skills are cooking. If I'm being honest, gathering is probably the best for cookers uh, or anyone that wants to cook sometimes, but not all the time, because a lot of stuff that you gather is more useful for cooking. Now, if you've got a workshop on fire, it can be pretty useful to gather as well, but for the most part, cooking will be probably the best uh, life skill to pair with gathering. Now, cooking is kind of slimmer as well because you don't really need to uh, use cooking as a main life skill either. You can, thanks to calcium utensils, as well as um, pretty much any of the other AFK ones. Calcium's are the best at 2000 AFK time, which you can get to like. Uh, eight hours of AFK time. Advanced are great for if you've got one or two second cook time, it only takes like 20 minutes to go through at two seconds uh, to go through an entire advanced cooking utensil. But cooking, it's definitely something that I recommend as a supplemental income. You want to cook for various items you can sell in the marketplace, such as good feed, but you also want to cook for imperial cook, uh, delivery. And that's a bit it. Then you want to use processing and fishing or maybe training, if you really like training horses, as probably your main life skill incomes. But gathering can supplement all of these. So right now I'm gathering to supplement cooking. I'm gathering meat. This meat can be used for a variety of recipes. Personally, I usually use it for good feed. Let's see uh, how long it takes to run through all four of these and what my gathering level will be at the end of it. So I started at beginner three. Um, currently I am beginner seven already, which is pretty nice. And you can see I'm also gathering fairy powder, uh, which is, I believe it's just something to be sold. Um, it's a fairly recent addition to the game. I don't think it's actually usable for your fairy, I believe it's just something you sell to merchants to try and increase the silver power of gathering in a sustainable fashion without getting sharps and hearts. So gathering, it also supplements your enhancing, because gathering is probably the best way to get sharps and hearts in the game beyond uh, events and the Night Vendor. 
Now, I'm probably not going to get any this gathering session because I'm not using magic tools. And the reason I'm not using magic tools is because I do not have any, uh, I don't have the gathering level on my lawn to do so. If I switch over to my Dark Knight, I can use them, but on my lawn, I cannot use magic tools, which is a shame. Now, of course, if I wanted to, what I could do is just, whenever my lawn has energy, go gather river water with her, as river water is an easy way to get your gathering up to about skilled. But magic tools require a bit more than skilled. I believe magic tools require uh, professional. I believe it's professional. Uh, I can actually check. One second. Do do do. <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm going here. Yeah. Oh, it's actually only skilled. Skilled five. Okay, that's not too bad. So we're already at uh, beginner eight. I doubt I'm gonna hit skilled with these four tools, and I'm probably actually gonna run out of energy. And I don't want to use energy potions while I'm actually still only uh, not using magic tools. Because energy potions are best used when you want to go for a bunch of hearts and sharps. I save my energy potions mostly for events that improve the drop rate for hearts and sharps. And then I use those uh, during those events to gather items I really need, such as timber or rough stone. Such as going to Pilgrim's Haven and then just gathering for a long time. And uh, returning hopefully, with more hards or sharps. So yeah, two down already, two to go. Halfway through. <coughs> As you can see, I'm actually uh, not in the best way. I figured a Let's Play was probably better than making a guide that people are probably gonna refer to for a long time. Um, and being sick as hell. And I, I can still hold out like without coughing for a short video, such as the patch notes I'll be doing tomorrow. But when it comes to a longer video, like the guides that I've got that I'm working on right now, uh, I'm having a bit more trouble doing that. The gathering, it's, it's just, gathering is one of the more chill things to do in Black Desert. It's, uh, you don't need to worry too much, you literally just, you go out, you find something to do, you turn up the graphics really high, and uh, you just enjoy it. It's one of the most sort of zen things to do in Black Desert. I don't do gathering as much as I should. But that's mostly because uh, I've actually been saving all my energy. I actually just hit 180 on most of my characters today. And I've been re-rolling my entire worker empire. I'm trying to get my entire worker empire to Artisan. This uh, this lone skilled worker, uh, there's very few of him left. Um, one in Calpheon that's being replaced soon. This guy in Velia that's getting replaced. And a single guy over at uh, T Trent, which I just haven't visited yet. And I'm trying to get all my workers to at least uh, professional, if not artisan, as well as replacing many of my goblins with humans. That is my current goal with my energy. But normally I would just use my energy to come up here, gather, uh, either kill sheep or go gather timber south of Heidel, or go gather rough stone um, east of Sand Green Bazaar near Valencia in Pilgrim's Haven. Yeah, gathering, it's... Uh, it's just, it's a really sort of chill way to spend your time in Black Desert. And there's a lot of stuff you can gather too, right? Like, it's not like you're forced to gather any one specific thing. Uh, I have gathered in the past uh, multiple different items. For example, Lizard Hides um, is something I've gathered before. So that should be beginner 10, so I'm pretty close to skill. Oh, and there's Layla's Petal. So I'm actually going to run out of energy fairly soon on my lawn. So I'll switch to my Dark Knight after that, as she's still got quite a bit of energy. Don't need all my characters to have full energy. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, gathering. Super chill. Um, you don't need to gather the same thing all the time. You can uh, you can switch it up. Oh, here we go, last gathering tool. So I'm probably going to run this gathering tool before I run out of energy then. And then I can just dive off the top. But that would be leaving my poor horse up here. Yeah, I'll just do that nice. I'll dive off the top and then I'll come back and get my horse. I've, I've actually, <laughs> I want to kind of make a compilation video of all these amazingly fun places to dive off of with the lawn. Because, I mean, it's one of the most uh, fun things you can do with the lawn, right? Just dive off of uh, huge places and, uh, yeah, just <laughs> sort of uh, see how far your Nimbus stride can take you. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll find the highest place on these little this little mountain range over here and I'll dive off. Yeah, gathering different things. Meat. Um, you can also gather blood from sheep if I wanted to. I'm not sure if I can gather hides. I've never tried tanning a sheep. 
But uh, if you want to tan some hides, you want to use a tanning knife, or you have a bunch of tanning knives you need to use up. Lizard hide is one of the best for that, and you can find those pretty near hide as well, actually. Just to the west. Uh, the where I gather lizards is right over here. Triangle head lizards right next to the northwestern gateway. There's quite a few of them there. Um, they're a bit more spread out than the sheep up here. The, one of the reasons this sheep spot is so good is because the sheeps are so... Sheeps? Sheep? The sheep? The sheep. Um, they're so clustered together. Like you see, like I'll kind of dive through a single pack and murder a bunch of them all at once. Unfortunately, they don't give any good experience, but whatever, you know? All right, we should be almost done with this gathering tool. Let's see, we've got uh, 10 gathers left, nine gathers left now. And then I'll dive off the highest spot, come back, get my horse, and return to Heidel for a little while. Re regaining energy for gathering, there's a few easy ways to do it. Um, the easiest ways are what I was doing at the very beginning of this video. I was in bed, and being in bed, it triples your rate of energy gain. Similar to a Kama Silver's Blessing, uh, you get massively increased energy gain while in bed. Uh, then, of course, you can use a Kama Silver Blessing, Blessing of Kama Silver, to increase your energy rate, gain rate, to uh, th one per minute. Alright, and there we go, gathering tool is, is too low. So we'll murder the rest of the sheep. Alright, so it looks like the highest point is just over there. So actually, let's get my horse for this. I've always wanted a Pegasus, but I do not have the money to uh, to go for making a Pegasus. I'm, I'm actually starting to work pretty hard on my gear. Uh, I finally got all my lawns weapons to try. My DK already had all try weapons, but my lawn... I don't want to sell my DK's weapons to fund my lawn, because I still like my DK. So my lawn has had to work hard and use up a lot of my enhancement stuff to uh, get her own weapons to try. And the Zarka was cursed. Like, actually, if I go to here, my lawn is a 55 stack, a uh, fail stack, just from trying to get that Zarka up. It was... that Zarka refused to go. All right, let's see. Um, hmm. Actually, it could be pretty difficult to run up the side of this cliff. Oops. Oh, oh, here we go. Yep, there we go. And if I... Oh, so... There we go, okay. Um, I don't think I can actually get all the way up here, unfortunately. I believe... This is probably about as high, as up, high up as I can get. Uh, is this the highest point on this mountain range? It looks like it, yeah. And there, you can actually see the Delphi Knight's castle over there. That's a, that's a pretty good render distance. And then, uh, what would that castle be? Would that be the Serendian Shrine? Or is that uh, something you can't get to yet? Well, I'm up here, let's look around. So you can see uh, the Kron Knight's Castle. Is that the Kron? Is that what it's called? Kron Knight's? Yeah, Kron Castle. And then you can see Velia right there. All of you off in the distance. Um, where's the Western Guard Post? Is it just over here? Is that it? Right there? Uh, a few bridges. Homesteads. Alrighty. So, I don't think I can actually get any higher up. Um, the lawn, I won't be able to make it over there even if I use her Nimbus Stride, as her Nimbus Stride doesn't quite get enough air to go up there. I can try. Oh, 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 come on. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe, maybe I can, actually. Maybe I can make it up. Oh! Nope, nope, don't, uh, don't fall. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Try not to... <laughs> my screen is like... You're not supposed to be up here. Uh, let's find a safe spot to kind of stand here. Alright, how high can I make it up here? Uh, I feel, maybe if I go here and then there, 
And then if I can, so if I can get the there, I can probably dive around there. All right. Okay, so I can get to here. Um, <laughs> we're, we're pretty high up actually, this, this is pretty cool. So yeah, so if I dive from up here, all right, ready? Ah, no, 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 no. Oh shit, no, no, no. Ah, I fell pretty far down this time. All right, gonna have to wait on that cooldown. All right, let's, uh, so we know we can get back up there. <laughs> How far down am I gonna fall, Jesus? All right, so this was, uh, Alright, so this is the starting point. Oh, didn't get enough air this time. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> How much health am I gonna lose here? Okay, not too much, not too much, okay. Unfortunately, we fell. What a damn shame. Okay, so we'll dive from here. Ah! <laughs> not the way I wanna do it. Alright, okay. Still some pretty good air. Not what I wanted though. Let's uh, let's go back up and do that again, because that was that was not what we wanted. We wanted some good air. Um, sometimes it's important in Black Desert, I find, just to kind of relax, not worry about grinding, not worry about uh, having to enhance your gear. Just relax and kind of enjoy everything it has to offer, and realizing that everything it has to offer is more than just the combat. Like, the combat on Black Desert, it's stellar, but there's a lot more to the game than the combat. So, dive off here. Um, and honestly, Black Desert is, as a sandbox game, a lot of the fun is kind of what you make it. And in the case of Lawn, there is a lot of fun to be had. Let's, uh, we'll root back to the horse so we at least know where we're going. Alright, so, uh, I'll try climbing that place one more time. If I fail this time, then, uh, we'll just... Uh, I don't think I can actually make it from here, so let's, uh, let's just dive in here. In, in the case of the lawn, there's so much fun you can have with her, like, doing random stuff. It's, uh, it's really quite a lot of fun. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, there's more sheep over here, well, mountain goats. Uh, so my horse is just over here. Actually, pretty high up already. Oh, we're actually uh, back where I was a second ago. All right, there we go. We made the jump. Now we've got to wait for the next one. It's a little difficult without cooldowns on. Um, let's go to preset three. We'll turn off display current input. Oh. You can see the end of there. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's turn it off. Preset 3. Okay, so. Um. So we'll just, uh, we'll make this jump one more time, then we'll jump off over there. Just gotta wait for the cooldown of the flow for Nimbus Stride. You can also see I'm wearing my Gatherer's outfit. I like the Gathering outfit, but honestly, 
My favorite outfit in the game is the crafting outfit. Although for some reason it's all rusty right now, I don't know why. But the crafting outfit, especially when it's uh, shining properly, looks really good on female characters. Alright, here we go. Oh, no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god, oh we're gonna fall, we're gonna fall. <laughs> Seems whenever I wanna just do a normal jump off, I uh, fail. Alright, so, uh, where am I? Well, actually, we're not in too bad a spot. Um... Remember as lawn, we can actually cheat a lot on how to get to, to certain places. Like we, you as a lawn, you can cheat on uh, getting to certain places with altitude a lot. Like there's a lot of different ways to jump that you can get to places that the developers did not initially intend. Same with the Kunoichi, the Striker, and the Ninja. Kunoichi and the Ninja have the double jump, which is really helpful. And then. Let me turn up my gain, actually, because I know it's been a little difficult to hear me recently. Alrighty, so... Oh my god, no, no, no! Oh boy, oh boy, we're gonna fall the wrong way, aren't we? No, no! Ah, uh, no. Ha! <laughs> Alright, we're not, we're not gonna attempt that anymore. No, that's enough, uh... Random jumping. Alright, let's go find my horse. Yeah, the uh, the striker. So I know that seems like a slight, and I believe the mystic as well. I know that seems like a slightly out of place uh, one among the other three. The other three are known for the jumps, but the striker is Q. So his uh, his Shoryuken, I believe. Uh, the giant rising uppercut is uh, actually great for getting places that people would not expect you to be. And the, all these duo crescent rings have been going up recently, uh, just because people know that the price is probably going to drop pretty severely as soon as... Um, in a couple days, once everyone gets the duo crescent ring from the Cherry Water Park, I believe it's six more days until uh, it becomes widespread. Alright, see if I can do it. Uh, we'll kind of come up here a bit. I swear to God, climbing Black Desert is... <laughs> Sometimes it's amazing, you're like, oh my god, this is, an, this is an MMO? And other times you're like, oh my god, really? Why can I not climb this? To be honest, if, if the lawn didn't have that slight uh, jump at the beginning, It'd be so much more easier to use Nimbus Stride to uh, get to interesting places. Oh, like, see, like that uh, that little climb right there to jump on this ledge. Um, this to get over here is uh, is a great example of. Wait, the lawn can do that. But yeah, the striker, his rising uppercut is great for just sort of allowing you to get to places that most classes cannot reach because it's got a few parts to it um, and the big ones uh, are the fact that it launches you upwards and it launches and at the end of its upward it also does a slight roll forwards which means you can get to a place of altitude just above you and then roll forwards onto that place it's, uh, it's pretty interesting to do. My favorite thing to do with it is in the duel arena to get the top of the uh, that giant tower in the middle of the duel arena. You can get to the top of that tower normally through sprinting and jumping, but it's pretty difficult. Like It, uh, it requires fairly strict timing. Or what you can do as a striker <coughs> is uh, you can just use your Q and land right on top of it. It's... Uh, it's really easy, and then you can invite people to the duel arena to duel you, and they're like, where are you? And you're just standing on top of the, uh, 
the uh, giant tower. They're like, oh, I'm up here, just uh, come fight. Then they rage at you if they don't know how to get up there in the normal way. It's, it's pretty funny. Not, not always to them, but uh, as, as the striker, it can be pretty funny. All right, so put away my gathering stuff. Uh, what should I go do now, honestly? Um, most of the stuff I don't really need to keep. Re-equip my armor. I bought a bunch of uh, trader's clothes because I want to use them to make a plus two, but I'm not using them on this character as, like I showed you guys, uh, I've got a bunch of uh, I've got 55 fail stacks, right? At 55 fail stacks, it's not a small amount of fail stacks. Like, that is a fairly significant chunk of fail stacks. Um, that is a tet stack. That is the stack I'm going to be using to attempt my... to tet my dandy. Ugh, another event draw. The problem with event draws is they don't stack with normal draws, right? Like, I've got a bunch of beast draws that I carry around for grinding, but they don't stack with the event ones. So you gotta... gotta be careful. So what should I do now? Uh, I still got a bit of energy, but I mean, I don't AFK on my lawn very often. Um, my lawn is... she mainly grinds. And thus, uh, I don't really AFK on her, so... I don't regain energy on my lawn all that quickly. Most of my energy regain is through when I'm grinding. And grinding energy regen is... It's about 20 in an hour, right? Like, you get 20 energy per hour, 1 energy every 3 minutes. And that's not a huge amount of energy. So I don't really feel the need to use all my lawn's energy. Um, Moral, why do you have a giant basket on your head? Whatever. Uh, go to Marketplace, claim my listings. I'm saving up uh, enough money to try and bid on a few items. And because where I grind drops these like crazy, I don't actually feel the need to turn them into blackstone powder. Um, and I'm, I'm too lazy. The, the amount of profit I would make if I turn these into powder is minimal, even if, if I actually did make any profit at all. And even if I did, uh, I'll sell the weeds as well. I don't really collect weeds. I'm not a huge end alchemy, and I don't figure feel the 50 to 100 weeds I've sold over my lifetime is going to amount to too much in doing alchemy anyways, so not too much to worry about. Um, let's see. Let's actually go through my rewards. As a lot of people like to point out that I have a ton of unclaimed rewards. Uh, going back quite a long time, right? I've got Termian Water Park, Fresh Peach Flower Petal, um, all my professional and stuff. I, mostly because I don't want these type of things clogging my inventory and storages. Cherry blossoms. I don't know what you do with these. Oh, you turn them in for uh, boxes, right? More Terramian stuff. More Terramian stuff. The everyday for reward stuff. So I might as well claim this stuff now because uh, I, I want to go put this in my Velia storage. It's really nice that they gave us memory fragments every day. Although, honestly, memory fragments are something that we really need better ways to get. Like, honestly, the Termian Water Park, uh, there's a quest there that... Uh, I'm trying to think of what the quest does. Um, right, so it's a, it's a hammer quest. What you do is you trade in one Ancient Relic Crystal Fragment, and then you go and you use... Uh, it's one of those hammer games where you've got to hit the hammer as hard as possible. I might as well claim these. Can I can I use these right now? Or? Um, simple alchemy. Okay. Let's let's find out. Because uh, quite a few events, a lot of people don't seem to realize, can be done after the event has ended. Like I actually claimed a Lauren box just the other day and got a uh, a, cre a ring of crescent guardian from it. So yeah, so you can you can uh, you can do that. So I've got 44. Let's see how many I get from this. All right. So call of moonlight shard. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough coins, I don't think. Oh, wait, no, I do. So if I claim one, two, three, that should be exactly enough coins. Do I have any of the more Moonlight Shards? 
Oh, I do have another soccer ball, actually. My last one. But yeah, you can uh, you can actually claim these even though the event's ended. So you go over to Lara here, and you can exchange for the gift box. One family gift box, and it's gonna be something bad because I didn't cheer. Or it'll be something amazing. Actually, that's that's pretty good. That's uh, I am not too unhappy with that. That's a good chunk of change. Uh, do the same with the soccer ball. Soccer ball rewards are worse than Lauren gift boxes. Alright, so I cheered. Let's find out what I got. Oh, I got a sharp, actually. That's, uh... I'm never too sad when I get sharps, right? Because sharps, you need sharps. Um, <laughs> the more you enhance, the more you... Like, I had 200 sharps just, like, two weeks ago, and I was like, Oh, I've got a ton of sharps. I don't need them for a while. And then all of a sudden, I uh, tried to get this Zarka to try, and it refused to go. And now I've got... Uh, an extra 49 stack, a second 45 stack, um, can I do this continuously? So I've got 44, let's see how many I get. <coughs> but yeah, I've got, a, I've got a 55 stack, a new 49 stack, a, four, a new 45 stack, like I've got all these stacks that uh, didn't really... Uh, so I think I got the shard back, but I only got a single memory fragment from it. Oh, but this time I got two memory fragments. Alright, I started at 44 memory fragments, so any extra memory fragments are pure profit. I don't really like the Moonlight Shard event because I feel the numbers are too low. The numbers should have been much higher. And honestly, a lot of their events recently, up until this recent event, which is really good, the Eternian Water Park, have been kind of, the numbers have been a little off. Uh, and what I mean by that is inflation has hit Black Desert in NA and EU pretty hard. So this might not apply for other regions. For example, the C region has actually been complaining a lot recently because their Termian Octopus are 250,000 silver instead of 500,000. However, what they failed to take into account in a lot of this is that the prices they pay for a lot of items are much lower than in other regions. They have items constantly in bid or buy phase uh, that are usually going for massive pre-orders here, and if they hit the bid phase, tons of people uh, will bid on them, so it's really hard to get. And as a result, massive inflation has not happened in that server yet. So it, this is probably an attempt by Black Desert, the staff, to prevent massive inflation from happening in C, or MENA, wherever the 250,000 silver octopus are, uh, compared to the other servers. So yeah, you can see I got eight fragments, which isn't terrible, but uh, nothing too amazing, honestly. Do you have any other events I can really like claim and do right now? I wonder if I can still do this event, honestly, the sweet cookie of mine. Um, put in a five event cookie and event marshmallow times one to get a chocolate cookie. Do I have the event marshmallow? No, it's the Halloween coin. Uh, I'm actually missing a few Halloween coins, I think, to get the fine accessory box. I think I'm missing two. Uh, because I wasn't online very much at that time. I was super busy with finishing school, so I didn't actually get enough Halloween coins for the fine accessory box, which is a shame because I'm only a few off. Uh, where was it? Just in here, right? Yeah. I've, I've got 40, and I need 50 for a fine accessory box. I can exchange it for advice of Alex plus 25, which is pretty nice. Um, but honestly, if I was going to exchange that, I would actually exchange it for a Shard Black Crystal Shard times 6. As the advice of Alex25 is nice, but that's only a single duo stack, and 6 shards would actually help me more than that. And I could exchange it twice for 12 shards. So I mean, 12 sharps is pretty worthwhile. Uh, Alright, so do I have any marshmallows down here? The one problem with having such a clustered... Uh, reward inventory, is that it is pretty difficult for me to find certain items. Like, I should probably claim this. The problem with this is I don't want to claim the uh, event the event items, as they will stack in my inventory. And I'm trying desperately to keep this inventory uncluttered. I would like to get the cat coupon, though. Uh, so I might just claim it on, like, my Dark Knight, whose inventory is already cluttered, and just be like, whatever. And then you can see I got my Termian Pearls. Got a bunch of different stuff. Alright, so let's go to 
my horse. My poor horse. I probably stabbed him in the back. Or her. Is it him or her? Her. I probably stabbed her in the back so many times uh, using those moves. Like, oh, I feel bad for her. I could also try getting a fairy, but I don't think I have all that much time before the maintenance. So let's go to Velia. And we will put these enhancement materials away. And then we'll try to exchange some Layla's petals. I've actually got quite a few in various inventories. Like uh, if I go collect. Uh, where is it? Um, I want to say it's my Musa's. Yeah, my Musa, because he's my Fisher, has a ton of them. And I'm uh, not sure where the rest of them would be. Do I have any over here? I've got a bunch of memory fragments over here. And I need to collect. Oh, I should collect these. Yeah. Before I discovered the quest, I was just turning them into uh, crystal, ancient relic crystal summon things. But uh, once I discovered the quest, I kind of stopped doing so because, well, now that I've got the quest, I'm taking a slight loss on them. But it's still easier just to turn them into memory fragments immediately while still out of the water park than it is to go and run the scrolls myself. But running scrolls is something you should you need to do like uh, unfortunately for me memory fragments are a vital necessity in black desert and as such you need to uh, run scrolls because memory fragments are not on the marketplace honestly what they need to do is tr double or even triple the rate of ancient relic crystal fragments and make it worthwhile for new players to go and run them for money again because new players used to be able to run and you, they still can, but the money isn't as good now because the price has risen. But when the price gets low enough, it becomes very profitable to run Ancient Relic Crystal Fragments. Uh, actually, instead of going here, let's go straight over to Ulvia, and then we'll draw, stop off in Velia. Because I need to... Uh, need to grab those memory fragments anyways, so not, no point in not doing so. But uh, yeah, so when the price is low enough, it's profitable for players to run the fr scrolls. But most players hate doing so because, well, running scrolls sucks. And while it's technically profitable because memory fragments have a very high value, because you're not selling those memory fragments, you're still losing it on silver. You're just gaining what you could have converted that silver into. So new players um, that do the fragments get the memory do these uh, scrolls get the fragments and then sell the fragments to the main player base like the more experienced players uh, is pretty much a godsend for more experienced players that don't want to have to go through the hassle of running scrolls on their own uh, now a lot of players always tell me oh you're being super lazy doing this you uh, you should just run the scrolls on your own and I do run the scrolls on my own like I run peel of face scrolls probably once a week I, uh, I run my forbidden book scrolls all the time whenever they stack up enough uh, whenever I do fishing events, I'll usually, unless they've got a nice uh, mini game like the Terramian Water Park does, I'll usually run the scrolls from those. It's just, I would like if I didn't have to run the scrolls, and could have other players do it for me, and then just buy the memory fragments myself. Or, going back to the inflation, if they'd raise the price on memory fragments, because the price of memory fragments being so low, is the other problem. If memory frag if they could also raise the price of memory fragments to put them closer to their true value, and then new players would still be able to run the scrolls again because the scrolls price would still be the same, but the memory fragments price would be uh, much higher, and thus they'd still gain profit. All right, uh, so I got these on my horse, don't I? Totally forgot I had those on my horse. Uh, Alright, so I want to grab all these scrolls. You can see my Musa just kind of dropped his gear off in here. Um, I've got a Zark and his Nuver over in... Where is it? Heidel? But uh, the rest of his gear he just kind of dropped off right over here. Uh, grab those. Anything else I need from here? Don't think so. I've got a Magic Soul Infinity Experience. I probably should put this in a helmet, and then just use that helmet to grind. Um, but, whatever. Okay, that looks like everything I need. Uh, I'll grab these three things, actually. Or these two, just because... 
I believe I've got them over in Heidel. I'm not sure if those are stacking up in my bank. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them in Heidel. And then for some reason I've got Monk's Branch in Heidel, but no Red Tree Lumps. Um, Alright, that should be everything I need from you. Yep. So I know this Let's Play is a lot less exciting than others, but uh, like I said, sometimes you need to just explore the other options Black Desert has to offer. Uh, if I wasn't saving my energy, I would actually go roll Nightbender on a bunch of my characters. Actually, I probably should anyways, now that I think about it. Just because uh, I do need sharps. I need, uh... I need quite a few things. I also need to replenish the money in my value storage. I've got 33 million over in Alvia, um, which honestly I probably should be moving right now. I should probably move 30 million of that. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, uh... We'll head back to all of you, we'll grab 30 million of that silver and we'll transfer it to Velia. Because you don't really need the money in all of you. In fact, you don't generally need money in small towns. Where you need money is the main cities of a region. Because main cities are... Uh, right here? Actually, also while I'm here, I can do the cow milking again. Ooh, lots of, lots of cool stuff I can do. Uh, but main cities are where your marketplace maids draw from. Like, if you look at my marketplace maid, She's currently drawing from Velia. Uh, 95 beer, that is not enough to bid on. Uh, Alright, currency exchange. We'll buy three of those. They're so heavy too, like they, uh, these things are hefty. 50, uh, 50 LT. I don't know what LT is. Is, it, is that like tons? Let's slaughter some grass beetles while I'm going through. And we can put my pets away too. Uh, there's Crocus. Croxus. Uh, so the cow milking minigame is, honestly, you should post an alt up here. Uh, my alt is Maritimer that usually does this, but Maritimer is also my fisherman alt. Which is why I have not been doing this recently. Uh, should be just up here, actually. It's hard to navigate all the in the dark. Like, all the in the dark is a different experience than all the in the day. Yeah, here it is. So you talk to this little boy over here. And luckily I'd have just enough energy to do it. And he gives you a quest, Daily Young Shepherd, which you can get milk from. And the quest is, you just, you run over the cow, and you've got to, uh, milk them. And you've got a time limit, and you've got to make sure you don't accidentally empty an udder. And you've only got to milk a uh, single cow, I believe. Pretty easy. Easy way to get milk. Uh, you want to do this every day just because milk is pretty valuable. And then, uh, yeah, head on back to... Oh, not where I want to go. Oh, yeah. So, I believe the server is going to shut down pretty soon. Um, what time is it? I took my phone. So I've got 13 minutes, okay, that's a decent amount of time. So yeah, I can I can get to Velia, I can uh, post some stuff up. We are totally fine for time. Ooh. So many grass beetles, like this place is infested with grass beetles. Get out of my way. And you can also see the uh, the beauty of like the glowing plants at night. Tended to by the Elionian. Ele El, El, I don't know. Elion? I don't know. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Is it Elion? Elion? I don't know. Elion? <laughs> I doubt it's Elion. It's probably Elion or Elion. But I'm not entirely sure. I really feel that the reason the lawn was developed was because they saw how amazing it was to play with a Pegasus and decided they wanted a class built around that feeling. Like, it, it really is. Like, playing lawn is amazing. And I can feel that using a Pegasus would probably be equally awesome. Hey, Luxury Elite. That was actually my old guild. Luxury Elite was the guild I was in until two days before I started this channel, actually. Well, not started the channel, but put the first video up. Um, I was in Luxury Elite. Before that, I was in uh, this... It was a Node War guild, but it wasn't a Node War guild. It was their sort of farm guild where they trained players. Couldn't actually remember the name. I wasn't in very long. Then I joined Luxury Elite because I actually really liked gathering when I started playing the game. 
uh, and then I decided to join a Nurgle guild. Initially I was going to make a guild, but then I met uh, my current guild leader and we decided uh, that I would join his guild after he beat me in 1v1, just barely. And I uh, decided to help uh, Yuki become a Nurgle guild. Of course then a bunch of stuff happened and I was nowhere near as helpful as I would have liked to have been. But uh, I, I did a part, I played a part. Alrighty. <coughs> but yeah, Luxury Elite. It's my old guild. <laughs> All these Cronstones. I use Cronstones mostly for... Um, whenever the Lauren event comes around, I mostly use them to try to attempt... Uh, what should I call them? <laughs> uh, accessories, that's the word. I mostly attempt accessories using Cronstones. And uh, it, it's a pretty good way to use your Cronstones. It uh, it gets rid of them pretty easily. So I guess I can throw those here. And the red tree lumps I'll have to throw into Heidel. Um, nothing else I want to throw in here. Maybe the red coral and those. Actually, I've been storing most of those in Heidel, honestly. <laughs> Two went in, but three went out. I'm slowly stockpiling my uh, my shelf belts. You can see that blue awakening box. The reason that blue awakening box is there is because the lawn awakening, the blue, has cratered in terms of price. And blue awakening boxes, um, so I suppose giving this away might give away one of my profit making tips, but blue awakening boxes are a great way to earn money whenever a new class comes out. In fact, one of the ways I made quite a bit of money upon the lawn's release was through crow noble swords. So let's, uh, let's auto path here. Yep, there we go, 10 minutes. Um, and Crow Noble Swords, so if I... Does it show uh, there? No. Uh, there's... One of the new things shows actually uh, where what drops where. Ah, here it is, item drops. So, where is Rogues? Here it is. Uh, Crow Noble Sword is the Lawn's AP offhand. <coughs> And this drops from rogues. So what I did was I would take these Crow Noble Swords, because I usually get between 2 and 3 an hour, and I would pump weapon stones in them. I'd get them to plus 7, which made them worth about 2, 2.1 million silver, and I'd sell them for that. And this is an easy way to get rid of weapon stones if you have too many weapon stones, because um, I've got quite a lot of weapon stones. I used a lot of them to upgrade some of my stuff, and I've still got 700, which isn't that many. But weapon stones, you don't need as many of them as armor stones, because weapon stones, uh, you only really need them to upgrade a weapon. You don't need them to uh, fail stack like you do with armor stones. So I would pump those stones in, and then I would sell the Chronoble Swords. And it's a great way to earn money when a new class comes out, because people will buy things at pretty much any enhancement level. They, Everyone wants to play the new class. Everyone wants to experience it, everyone wants the decent items, and so they'll buy them at any enhancement level. And you can do the same with Awakening weapons, and when a new class releases, when their Awakening releases, it's pretty much the only time you can sell a Blue Awakening at full price. Uh, normally, a Blue Awakening weapon will not sell for anything near full price, you will have to sell it. What are all those going up for? Alright, let's, uh, let's bid on those, jeez. Uh, marketplace, pearl item. <laughs> Go to list. Oh no, I missed, missed the bit. Alright, so I think I can actually get back up to the marketplace itself before this happens. No need to use my marketplace made. But uh, yeah, it's like the only time you can sell a blue awakening weapon for full price is when a class's awakening has just been released. So because I don't get too many of them, um, actually use some of that beer. I've been buying beer recently because I'm using all my AFK time to fish, uh, which means that I don't have anywhere near as much time as I used to to craft beer. So if I want beer, I have to uh, buy it myself. I've, I've still got like 6,000 in my storage, but that 6,000 is not going to last me in the next two weeks while the, while the Termian Octopus event is still going on. And... Because of that, I, uh, I'm buying as much beer as I can. But a lot of people are doing the same thing, so beer 
it's in very short supply. Sometimes you can get, before the event, you could sometimes happen upon like 10,000 beer just sitting there. And now it, it gets difficult even to find like 500 just sitting there like that. And that was only probably just sitting there because no one else is online. Although I think someone actually won the bid, took one, and then uh, didn't do anything else with it. Okay, so I really would like to win a bid on the turtle. Don't care what ninja. Because uh, the turtle, I actually have a turtle that I won a long time ago in a bid. And I've never opened it because I've already got like seven pets, because I've won a few pets from bids that uh, are mostly all tier one because you cannot mash different t types of pets together. Uh, the reason I'm actually raising the second penguin up to level 10 is so I can mash it together the first penguin and preserve whichever skill I'd like to keep. Um, for a penguin, ideally I get a skill regarded uh, to life skills. Yeah, no, just, uh, just what I expected. Unfortunate. And of course, you're not going to be able to beat the marketplace bots here, right? Like, yeah. Uh, even if that hadn't happened, um, sometimes they will go to buy phase, but then the marketplace bots, they buy things way faster, and you don't stand a chance. But yeah, um, I think it's on my Dark Knight, actually, that the turtle is. But, uh, so, I've got the turtle, but most of my pets, um, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's going to be mashed into happy. Um, hopefully I get a tier three, because I've mashed a pet together before, two dogs at level 10, and it got me a tier two, which uh, made me pretty salty, because everyone I know mostly gets tier threes from their pets. I don't think I know anyone that's gotten a tier two. So I really need like more pets to get higher tiers, but I don't really have the money to spend on more pets to get higher tiers, unfortunately. Uh, so talk to Ezero. Cover. While I'm here, might as well buy some cheap feed. Uh, really hate that it still has the functionality to try to do that. Uh, bring out a happy. Or, sorry, Mumba. It's confusing when they're all the same to a pet. Right, switch over to Kipria here. Kipria, Kypria, Kip, Kyp. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it because how it's supposed to be pronounced is, uh, I believe, uh, Kypria or, Kip or Kipria. But how people call me in shorthand is Kip. But some people say, say Kyp, like K Y P, as if there was an E after it. Kyp, like hype. But uh, what I hear in my head is Kip, K-Y-P, Kip, as in Kip Duron for anyone that knows Star Wars. Uh, so let's see, what do I have in my problem address? Five Artisan's Memories from Random Events, a plus 50 Advice of Valks from an event. Um, here's the Turtle, Professional Worker Contract Bundle for Heidel. Be a human. Oh, I think I went over here actually. As you can see, my uh, my Dark Knight's inventory is pretty full. Just got a bunch of random stuff. Ten more memory fragments, some beer. Uh, Hex Marie scrolls, some Shikatu seals. This month is actually the month that I'm gonna get my Duo Ogre, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's the reason I've been holding off on upgrading my necklace. And I'm also gonna upgrade the uh, the Mark of Shadow that I blew up. I had a Duo Mark of Shadow that I was trying to get Try, and I blew it up down to Pry using Cron Stones, which made me sad. So I'm actually going to get quite a few upgrades in the next two, three weeks. Uh, GM Blessings, Comet Silver Blessing one day. Like as you can see, my Dark Knight, she's just got a ton of stuff. Uh, Bazzy Belt, and I've also got one equipped. I need to sell those pretty soon, actually. We're coming up on the best time to sell these pretty damn soon, as you don't want to sell. Uh, items right after a fine accessory boxes have been opened. And the last fine accessory boxes were opened about eight to nine days ago with people getting their last attendance rewards. Uh, so pretty much next week should be the optimal time to open it because people will have been using the 
Uh, getting all the profits from the Charming Octopus for two weeks, all the fine accessory stuff will have been sold, and a lot of people won't have been grinding, so it'll be a good time to sell around then. Um, and of course the worst time to sell is like the day it gets open, because that's when all the rings of Crescent Guardian and uh, all that other stuff gets sold. And then of course there's Manos Ruby Necklaces. Oh, they really need to buff these. Buff, buff these to the point where they're usable, like at least increase the AP significantly. Um, because honestly, it's just, there's no point in them existing right now. There are thousands of these sitting at minimum on the market that will pretty much never sell just because they're that bad. And then over here you can see I've got a bunch of Schultz belts, I've got red coral earrings, I've got a mark of shadow, um, some more crow noble swords I should probably just sell. I've got, I've got a bunch of random stuff. I should probably sell these as well actually. I've just been keeping these because I don't want to sell them. I like having a piece of boss gear I can fail stack on if need be, but then I've got these, you know, I've got like my Moose's boss gear if I ever need to fail stack on someone. So it's not like I actually need the muskins for that. But uh, if I sell it, I'll get to about 900 million after tax, which is a decent place to be in terms of money. I've also got a few other things I need to sell down here, like uh, plywoods, for example. Let's. Uh, oh. oh, I think I just got kicked out of the server. Yep. All right, guys. So that is going to be the end of this uh, let's play. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this Let's Play wasn't very action-packed, and there wasn't really a specific topic, but this was kind of to just to show more of the general stuff that goes on Black Desert, apart from just grinding and uh, killing anything that moves. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know below what you'd like for the next Let's Play. I might do another questing Let's Play next, as my lawn still has a number of quests to go. I have uh, haven't done any of the other main quests, apart from talking to Techthon recently, so tons of main quests to go. Um, let me know below what you'd like to see next, and uh, if there's any background music you'd like me to try and put in. I'm kind of wary about using overly popular background music, so don't uh, recommend anything stupidly popular, but yeah, if there's something like just nice and chill, let me know. Anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching, subscribe if you liked it, and have a good one.